Welcome back to Basic Havoc. My name's Logan Shepard. I'll be your guide for this refresher course. This training will take you through tactical movement, weaponry usage, vehicle piloting, and base operations. You can move forward, back, strafe left, and strafe right with the movement keys. All of your controls can be customized to suit your taste via the options menu. Practice moving around, then meet me in the next section. Here you'll learn about jumping and climbing. Pressing the jump key makes you jump. To climb a ladder, approach the ladder and press the action key. Now it's time for a test. Climb this ladder and jump to the opposite crate. Looks like you've got it. Now, let's cover your EVA unit. That device on your left arm is called EVA, short for Electronic Video Assistant. The most important thing EVA does is track mission objectives. I'll activate your first mission objective. Notice EVA announced the objective and indicated the location on your radar in the lower left-hand corner with a green star. Mission objectives come in three different varieties, primary, secondary, and hidden objectives. The green star indicates a primary mission objective. Objectives of this type must be completed for mission success. The data link includes a map, mission data, and a dynamically updated combat database. You can access any data link screen by pressing the EVA key, which activates the most recently viewed EVA page. That covers it for EVA. Just remember to refer back to your data links whenever you need tactical information. During missions, the action key can be used to interact with people and equipment. You can talk to a soldier by using the action key. Ask the soldier at the exit to open the gate, and we'll move on. Keep an eye out. This door requires level one security clearance. This door requires level one security clearance. Now, I'll show you how to use security cards. Notice the color of this door. You'll need a green security card to open it. Yellow doors will require yellow cards, and red doors require red cards. Here's a green security card. This is the Advanced Guard Tower. It provides automated base defenses. Now, head inside and down the elevator. Sydney is waiting for you there. Hey, Havoc. Here you will learn more about your electronic video assistant. EVA, for short. On the bottom of your display are two meters, one for health and one for armor. As you take damage, these meters decrease. Armor reduces the amount of damage you take. Here's an example. Watch what happens when I shoot you. Hey! Is that necessary? Notice your health has decreased. As it gets lower, the meter turns yellow, then red to indicate you are near death. Now it's time for power-ups. This is a health power-up. Pick it up and I'll continue. As long as you're not gonna shoot me again. Your health meter is full again. Now let's try an armor power-up. Pick this one up and I'll continue. Now your armor meter is full, meaning your armor is completely intact. Now watch your health and armor meters again. You wanna cut that out? That's the last time. <laughs> Honest. Notice how your armor was damaged, but you lost less health. Okay, you should be clear on power-ups, so let's move on to your radar. In addition to mission objectives, your radar shows the position of infantry, vehicles, and buildings. Radar shows your immediate surroundings, but your overhead map provides a more strategic view. Press the map key to take a look at your overhead map. Infantry appear as circles. Note the yellow circle showing my position on the radar. GDI units appear in yellow. Nod units in red. Neutral units appear in white. Watch the red triangle representing the Nod vehicle as it passes on the radar. Notice the yellow square indicating the position of this GDI building. Actually, it's showing the position of the Master Control Terminal, but we'll cover it later. Don't want to confuse the grunt, huh? Building operations are part of another tutorial. Speaking of other tutorials, let's get moving. I'll have Eva highlight your next mission objective. Back to the tour bus. I'll catch you later. She likes me. This is the infantry barracks. Inside, Gunner will explain weaponry basics. Hi, Avic. Gunner! Long time, pal. What you got for me? This is the infantry barracks where we process recruits. 
Nod has an equivalent building called Hand of Nod. We'll be using this infantry barracks in the firing range out back for weaponry training. This first weapon is the Vervac Commando Elite Falcon Automatic Pistol. Select it by pressing the handguns key and head out back to the firing range. Notice your targeting reticle has an outer circle and an inner dot. The outer circle shows where you're pointing the weapon. The inner dot shows where the weapon will actually hit. You may have an obstacle in the way which prevents you from targeting properly. Point the automatic pistol at any target on the range. When you have a valid target, the reticle turns red. If you're reloading or out of ammunition, the reticle turns yellow. Further information about your target is displayed near the targeting brackets. Point the weapon at any target and press primary fire. Aim for the head to maximize the damage dealt per shot. Shoot all the targets in the range and we'll cover sniper rifle training. Next is the Vervac R59 Pierce sniper rifle. Select the sniper rifle by pressing the sniper weapons key. This weapon serves two functions, accurate long range targeting and sound detection. Use secondary fire to activate the scope. You can zoom in and out using the zoom control keys. The weapon is equipped with a directional microphone which can pick up conversations at long ranges. Use secondary fire again to deactivate the scope. Only your automatic pistol has infinite ammunition. You need to watch ammunition for other weapons, like this sniper rifle. The remaining ammunition in your clip and the total count of remaining ammunition is shown at the bottom of your display. Another indicator of ammo loss is your targeting reticle. If it turns yellow, you are either in need of reloading or out of ammunition. Red means fire, yellow means I need ammo, gotcha. To reload a weapon, press the reload key. If you need more ammunition, a power-up is ready near the firing range. Eliminate all targets and come back for the automatic rifle. The next weapon is the Corbretti AR-70 Raptor Automatic Rifle. Use the automatic weapons key to select this weapon. This is good stuff, Gunner, but when do we get to the real explosives? Eliminate the targets and then come back for more exotic weaponry. Next up is the Sackles A 66mm Type R12 Locust Automatic Rocket Launcher. Select this weapon by pressing the Rocket Launcher key. Now you're talking. Take your time destroying all the targets. Come back in when you're done. Let's move on to your line of work. Press the mines key for remote C4 explosive. Use primary fire to place the C4 charge on a target. Then, move to a safe distance before detonating with your secondary fire. This is a lot to swallow in one sitting. You'll get it. You're a quick study. We have one last item. Come back when all targets have been destroyed. 